For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I want to be showing you some new Windows 10 keyboard shortcuts. So to start off, we're starting off with Cortana. So the first one is to open the search. What we do for this is the Windows key and S. The next one is opening Cortana in listen mode, which is star and C. Now we'll move on to the activity center. This one opens the action center. So for this, it is start and A. Next is cycle through notifications, which is start and V. The next one cycles through notifications in reverse order, which is start, shift and V. The next one set focus in the notification area, which is start and B. Moving on to virtual desktops. Now to add a virtual desktop, what it is is start, control, D. So I'll show you right now, start, control and D. And that has just opened up another desktop as you'll see right there. Now to switch between your virtual desktops you've created on the right. What it is is start, control and the right arrow key. So I'll show you right now. There you go. So that's right and that's left. So you just control them like that. It's really simple. And you can't see my second monitor, but it's actually moving on my second monitor as well. Now to close the virtual desktop you're using, what it is is start, control and F4. So start, control and F4 and it has just closed out of that virtual desktop. Now to open up task view, what it is is start and tab. Like that. So now we'll go into the game bar, you can see I've got Minecraft open here. Now to open up the game bar, it is just start and G. Like that and this is what you get. Now my PC does not meet the requirements but to record the last 30 seconds, what it is is start, alt and G. Now to start recording it is start, alt and R. And then to stop the recording it's just start, alt and R again. Now you can see I get that error right there it's because I do not meet the requirements. Now to take a screenshot of your game it is start, alt and print screen. Like that and you can see what we get. And there's this print screen I got right there that I just took. Now when you're recording to show or hide the recording timer it will be start, alt and T. Now you can see I can't actually do that command because I haven't got the recording up and I can't get it up anyway because I don't need the hardware, but that is how you do it. Now moving on to Microsoft Edge. Now to add the current site to your favourites or reading list, it is Control D. And you can see that is how you do it right there and just go ahead and add it. Now to open your downloads pane, all it is is Control J. To open up your favourite pane, it is Control I. To open up your history, it's the same as always, Control H. Of course, to open up Cortana, it is start and C. Now, to enter reading view, it is Control Shift and R. So you can see right now, I've got an article open. If we press Control Shift and R, it will put us into reading view, like this. Then to exit it, it's just Control Shift and R again. Now, to open F12 Developer Tools, obviously, it's just F12. Now to turn carrot browsing on the current tab, it is just F7. You can see right there. To duplicate the tab, it is Control K. And finally, open a new in private browsing window, it is Control Shift and P. Like this. Now we'll get into the general keyboard features. To open the connect quick action, it is Start and K. Now to open up your settings, it is Start and I. To open up the file explorer is start and E. It's actually appeared on my other monitor, so uh, here it is. Now to open up the share charm, it is start and H, like that. To cycle through apps on the taskbar, it is start and T. And you can see right there, as I'm pressing start and T, it's going to go through like that. And it's also switched to my other monitor now, and there we go, back here. Now the final one to open task manager is just control, shift and escape. And there we go. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully I've given you some useful information about the Windows 10 features. And I'm going to be making even more videos based on the other features within Windows 10. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to go and follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go and check out my gaming channel. I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to go and add me a Snapchat or issue what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.